to the post tropical uh, Lee storm. It is still got hurricane force winds, just got a different name to it, just categorized differently. Just know that it's still the same impacts that we were telling you when you went to bed last night. Yesterday when you went to bed, we're expecting the same exact storm today with the same threats. It's got winds gusting to 100 miles an hour, uh, 80 mile an hour winds. I don't expect hurricane force winds in Maine as we make landfall with this thing in Nova Scotia, but we will have high winds with it. Look at this wind field. You can see uh, earlier this morning, tropical storm force winds through Portland and southern Maine. And then by 5 uh, p.m., we're looking at that shifting to more down east areas. And there's Nova Scotia getting that landfall and then way out into Atlantic Canada. So we have a tropical storm warning for all of the coast of Maine. Interior York County, Oxford County, Western Maine, Northern New Hampshire, a wind advisory. You're still going to have some pretty good winds. Could knock out power. Uh, but we're looking at that tropical storm warning also inland for Androscoggin County, Southern Somerset County, Kennebec County, and all the way up to Presque Isle. Pretty wild there, but that's where we're looking at the tropical storm force winds over 40 mile an hour winds. All right. Offshore reports now are almost up to 50 mile an hour winds from Casco Bay. Seas are at six feet. That's not terrible, uh, but we're going to be looking at that getting worse as the storm gets closer and closer. It's not even in the Gulf of Maine yet. Uh, winds at the Gulf of Maine buoy are up to 49 mile an hour winds. We're at 31 mile an hour winds right now in Portland and in Augusta too. All right, so in Portland today, let's go hour by hour, kind of give you an idea of our threats. It's not too bad now, and, and when we're asking the teeth of the storm, it kind of ramps up real quick. Once it enters into the Gulf of Maine, we're going to see winds go from from 31 uh, to 42 at 9 a.m. to 50 mile an hour winds at 11 and again at 1 o'clock. And uh, you can see that the wind field will be gusting for several hours that will put stress on trees and power lines. Uh, the further west or uh, further east you go toward Rockland, different story. You're looking at 50 mile an hour winds at 9, 60 mile an hour winds near lunchtime, mid 50s at 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, another area where a bigger risk to see power outages. Again, the coastline has the high risk of power outages today, and lesser effects as you get inland. All right, so post-tropical Lee has winds of 80 miles an hour, moving north in a hurry at 25 miles an hour. And you can see the rain bands are coming in. We've had a couple already. Even our mountains are in on it. We've got a good bit rain band moving through Bangor. Look at this. That's a real tropical rain band. And it's going to pour in Bar Harbor, Penobscot Bay, our island friends out in Isleboro, North Haven, and Vinyl Haven, Monhegan, Matinicus. You're going to get a ton of rain and wind out of this. You guys are in on a big day of weather. Uh, you got some light rain in the Portland area, some moderate rainfall down in southern areas and out toward the mid-coast. And as we go through the day today, we're going to have that rain for mostly the morning. There'll still be some showers in the afternoon. But look at this. By 5, 6 o'clock, western Maine, especially New Hampshire, can even see the sun break through and have a nice sunset, but it will still be quite windy. All right, here's the exclusive eight day forecast because we need to move beyond the storm. And tomorrow it looks nice 78 degrees, lots of sunshine. Don't go in the water. Still got bad rip currents, but we're going to have rain again to start off your work and school week on Monday and a few rain showers on Tuesday morning and then a real nice stretch of weather as it is our last four days until the day of autumn beginning on Saturday. All right, Dan, at this point, really just bracing for those wind speeds intensifying. Ted, thank you. And if you are just joining us right now, here's a few things that you're going to want to know as Maine begins to feel the impacts of post-tropical storm Lee. Maine State Ferry Services, those are closed today. That's from the Maine DOT sharing that information. Casco Bay lines, though, to the islands off Portland, that will remain open. This is according to their website, with service disruptions possible throughout the day. So prepare for that. If weather allows, captains can use their own discretion to run. Normal operations for state services are expected to resume tomorrow with far better conditions, as Ted just told us. The Mesotol weather team continues tracking Lee. Experts say being prepared for a natural disaster goes beyond the basic needs like food, water, and shelter. A financial checklist is also important. FEMA says to gather important documents and contacts. Take photos of papers, too. Keep some cash in a safe place in case ATMs or banks are down. Also, review your insurance policies now and make sure to keep them up to date. Now right now, 621 here in this Saturday morning, just shy of the 60 degree mark as we continue to track this storm. Yeah, we're keeping all of our eyes on Lee as it is approaching us here, especially for the coastal areas in Maine. We are checking in right now with our total weather team. And Colleen, how's it looking right now for travel? Maybe tricky today. Definitely going to be tricky out there today, especially across Maine and New Hampshire. We've got the wind and the rain. Bangor, the county, tropical storm warnings extending all the way to Presque Isle. In the White Mountains, it's windy, less rain there but we're going to be dealing with it across the region here as we go through the day today. Now, Boston dealing with the rain and the wind as well, though they're getting 
just the edge of the storm. Not as big of impacts as we're seeing here. Further south, we've got sunny and 80s in Washington, D.C. today. Florida dealing with some thunderstorms as usual. But if you look at the potential for airport delays across the country today, it's really going to be here in coastal New England, where the worst effects will be felt. Several flights canceled at the Portland jet port today. And we're in between showers right now, sitting at a mild 60 degrees at the jet port. But we're going to see more showers moving in. And the wind's just starting to ramp up now. We've got more of your forecast right on the other side of the break. Tracking Lee. Don't